Taiwan is sending 150 oxygen concentrators to India in the coming days. That's amid a surge in COVID-19 cases that has left Indian hospitals short of oxygen. Countries around the world are pledging assistance to India, which has the fastest growing caseload in the world. Rain has arrived in Taiwan, helping to alleviate the worst drought here in 56 years. The Water Resources Agency says that after a period of showers on Tuesday alone, Taiwan's reservoirs collected 620,000 cubic meters of rainwater. But the drought is not yet behind us, and the agency says water supplies in central and southern Taiwan remain strained. Vacationers from all over Taiwan have descended on the Penghu Islands, but not all of the tourists are behaving themselves. A number have been caught climbing up the island's beautiful basalt columns to get the perfect photo. Authorities are warning against this. The risk of injury is high, it's bad for the environment, and fines for doing it can reach up to 36,000 US dollars. Hate the idea of pineapple on pizza? Well, I have bad news for you. Here in Taiwan, pineapple is now turning up in another place it probably doesn't belong. I'm talking about zongzi, or rice dumplings, a delicacy associated with the Dragon Boat Festival just over a month away. Zongzi makers in Yunnan County are hoping the added twist will increase sales. Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe also joined in on the hashtag Freedom Pineapple campaign with a high-profile tweet about how delicious the Taiwanese pineapples look. President Tsai responded by saying that if five aren't enough, she can send more. 